hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll be discussing how to pull a docker image from docker hub and just run it and then we'll just check whether the image is running perfectly or not so in my in this case uh, we will be using tomcat i will be downloading tomcat from docker hub and we'll just start the tomcat server and just check in our browser whether the tomcat is running or not so in this case i'll just list my docker images docker images so i have two images here so i'll just show you how i have downloaded this tomcat jdk 8 and tomcat latest so how you can actually download two different versions of tomcat and your docker so for this i'll just go to my docker hub account docker hub so this is my docker hub So here we have so we are going to download the tomcat okay so I'll just click on it so here you can see the tomcat has been opened and to pull this tomcat image you need to run you need to actually start the command docker pull tomcat I'm just going to copy this and here are the tags so it says that supported tags and respective docker links so how to actually download a specific version of docker uh, image is he th using this so i have downloaded the jdk 8 version so we'll just check so it's here you can see uh, jdk 8 okay so this is the version which i want to actually download and in my case i have already downloaded this but i'll be showing you how to work with the command so I'll go to my docker terminal and just paste this command and colon jdk8 I'll just click on enter and we'll see what happens so it says pulling from tomcat library tomcat and this is id and uh, image is up to date for tomcat jdk8 okay so that means i have downloaded the latest version of jdk 8 from the Tom from the docker hub so we'll just see how to start the tomcat image in a container and just check whether our docker image is running perfectly or not so docker images so actually we already had this command and we'll just see our docker if there are any containers running background for my um, docker Im docker images so i'll just click on docker containers ls so you can see there is already a container running so this is actually tomcat itself so i'm going to uh, stop this container and rerun another thing so how to stop a container using a command docker kill and the container id enter and press enter so you need to specify the container id to specifically kill the container so if i go for the docker containers and just check so i don't have any container now so i'm going to start a container using this image id okay so i'm just going to copy this so doc run so on which port you wanted to run this by default docker has a port sorry by default tomcat has a port 8080 but i would like to run the tomcat in my specific port on my custom port so for this i am going to mention the port number like uh, 9092 or anything 9292 port colon and what is your tomcat port so by default tomcat port will be 8080 so this is this so you need to mention the port and uh, space give your image id so this image id is here i have copied that from this place and pasted it and i'm going to run my image
so it seems that my tomcat is getting started so that's it so I'll just check whether my tomcat is working or not in my machine so local host so actually people I and I got confused just a moment ago local host mm -hmm. so whenever we start a tomcat we'll just go for the port and check like this but you need to know that docker actually works on a Linux machine okay so we are actually accessing the docker through a virtual machine of vbox and if vbox a linux is installed in the linux the docker is running so it is not that our um, docker is right directly running from our windows machine so in that case we need to specifically mention the linux machine and the port 8992 what we have mentioned here where it is it's here okay so let's start it so here we have mentioned right 9292 port so what will be our port the linux machine port will be 192.168.99 one so this is the ip and port will be 9292 okay so i'm just going to copy this and go to my browser and remove this local host and paste this one and just press on enter we'll see so that's it that means our tomcat is working successfully now so in in other video in the come next video what we will do is we will actually deploy a sample var file into the in this specific tomcat version of jdk 8 and we'll just see whether how it's working so I'll, in the next video i'll be discussing how to actually deploy a var file and in further we'll actually see how to save all your session of your uh, docker container so that whenever you shut down your computer again you, when you start the images it should work with whatever the work you have done like copying the var files to your tomcat and in the later and you, if you're trying to copy some custom files to your tomcat so how to save the session of your whole work so that you don't need to do this all the time whenever you start your tomcat sorry whenever you start your docker terminal so that's it guys thank you for watching in the next video we'll try to deploy var file and just check whether it's working or not